Welcome everybody to the Gladiator Cipher Podcast. I'm your <clears throat> Jason, and I'm here with my I, I keep calling like a music aficionados. I want to say musical gurus. Um, I don't know what to call you guys, but I'm just gonna just say I got the dopest music reviewers on the planet. I put them up against anybody. But right. I'm here with my, my my cousin Chris. What's going on, Chris? What's going on, people? How you doing? All right, and then we got my man Nip. Nip, you, you, you looking like you about that? You got to get off of this show. You look like you about to tuck the Millie. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I had to get ready for this uh, for this Rock Marcy joint. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm ready. You know what I mean, I mean, I know, like, I know my cousin about to get out in them streets and do, you know, and, and kickbox and all that. But you look like you about to get out in these streets and and, and box some kicks, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Box four kicks, yeah, like, get up right. off of <laughs> I mean, you come started, up with a box of kicks, man. Come on, man. <laughs> it, started, it started snowing outside today. You know what I mean? You got to bundle up. Oh, damn. Whew. That, that's why I love being in the South, man. We get some snow. They shut down the whole planet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Georgia, Georgia don't play with that. <laughs> Let a flurry yeah. drop. It'll be just one flurry. They go, oh. Mm -mm. Car crashes and everything. I remember that. That was yeah, wild. I had sweet. I had sweet one year. Shut the city down for two Oh days. hell yeah! <laughs> you know, because they said they told my kids like, "Oh yeah, if, if it gets too cold, we'll have to shut down school." I said, "What? If it gets too <laughs> cold? It gets too cold? Not not if it rains. Not if it's ice. Not if it's snow. If it just get too cold, we are gonna have to shut it down." So, mm. but it, it is what it is. I can't lie. I love it. Um, guys, we got a packed show, and as always, you know we're just gonna go to these album reviews. But before we get into that. Make sure you guys join the circus. How do you join the circus? Pretty simple. Just follow us, subscribe to us, share our material. That is how you join the circus and you be part of the crew. Only place on the planet where it could be cool to be a clown. But on top of this, the incentive is that starting in January, we will give you exclusive material that will only go to our subscribers and followers. So if you want some of that material, join the circus. Some of that material will include way back in the day album reviews that we'll do for you guys. Some of that material will include us reviewing some real out there stuff. Some of the things that really will include is giving the worst kind of music to Nip and let him decide <laughs> to find one good thing about the music and put it out there. So we got a lot of things coming for you in the future, but please go ahead and subscribe and follow now so you don't have to worry about it when we start dropping that material. All right, let's go up to the first album and I'm gonna throw it to my cousin Chris, which what we got on deck, man. Uh, we're checking out Amine's uh, Limbo Deluxe release. Uh, he recently came out with this album a few months ago. They released a deluxe last week. Uh, this album clocks in at about an hour. Uh, for me personally, my favorite track on here had to be Roots featuring J.I.D. and Uncle Charlie. Mm. So can we uh, can we make sure we give Uncle Charlie the flowers? Because my man has been through every generation. You ass off. <laughs> <laughs> Hey girl, how you doing? <laughs> My name is Charlie. <laughs> Last name Wilson. Uh, no, he used to cool. turn up 106 and part with that jump. The video when that came out, I remember watching that. That was wild. Here we go, Roots. I got it queued up. All right, all right, all right. He about to get me in <laughs> the whole show down and be like, F it, let's just do this. <laughs> yeah, and then um another Favorite track on mine uh, was, was Woodlawn too, but to get into my least favorite track, that had to be uh, Zach and Cody. Not that I hated the track, um, I felt like the whole project was pretty strong, but All right, let's this give one just didn't ring off. Zach and Cody, and if we hate it too much, we'll get it off real quick. Here we go. I mean, that still wasn't even bad though. Yeah, yeah, it was still yeah, good. It's still it's good. It's so you can see it's a solid, a solid project. So to kind of get into my thoughts about it, um, when I had first heard the regular. Uh, Limbo album. I thought it was a really good showing by me. Nate. Um, he's one of the younger artists, up and comers that uh, I really like his music. Even with his initial release, he had that huge um, pop hit with Caroline. It kind of crossed over a bit. And he even had a song on there was uh, kind of talking the Spice World jump. I think that was pretty cool. So he can jump in the different lanes. So I really appreciate Amine's music for that. Um, with this one though, in particular, the deluxe. Outside of maybe like Mr. Clean and Chicken, I really felt like it kind of watered down the album a little bit. I feel like starting from Burden and then finishing out at the end of the album, he had a real strong project, um, really good album. But I think the added tracks just added a little bit too much time and a little bit uh, too little substance for me. So uh, overall, I would say if I had to rate this one, I'd probably give it a, a 3.25. So if my homie was playing it, um, I would definitely listen. So an enthusiastic listen in my homies would. But yeah, it was a good album. I enjoyed it. Okay. What well, any any got any outstanding lines of versus of bars that you remember? Oh yeah, one of Nip's favorite. If uh, was it being 
Ugly was yeah. Ugly was pretty. I'd be the shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that one was cool. That one was cool. I'm shocked you got I, for me. That's kind of low. I think I'm gonna let Nip Nip. Where you have it ranked? Where do you have the album rank? Uh the deluxe. Yeah, I'm gonna say bootlegger. If if we take those first, what is that? Uh, like five or six, six songs, or seven yeah. joints. Yeah, if if we take if we take them joints out, then um. I'm a copy. I'm a copy. Of the album. I'm I gonna lie to you. I I I, I bangs with it. I, I bangs with heavy. Yeah, the normal I would give definitely um, a four, but okay. the deluxe is like just a little bit too much for me. I'm with you. I think the deluxe I'm giving uh I bootleg it, but if it was uh the the regular one which I listened to you know months ago, I definitely mm-hmm. make that a cop. So now nah, I'm I'm on that one. Well, where's uh I feel like Wyatt is uh Russell Simmons. Where he's at, man. He got a. Man, he in there doing backflips or some shit, man. I keep hearing bumping, <laughs> and I look up. This dude, I don't know what's up with him. So, well, this is why it's not going to walk us off the show again. But, again, thank you, everybody, for <laughs> to the Gladiator Cypher podcast. We will be back next week, as always, with more album reviews. Please check us out on everything Head Cannon Circus, Facebook, Instagram, um, YouTube, anywhere you can find us. We are probably there. We're on DSPs and et cetera. And then again, like I said, thank you to our guests. Tiff- oh, yeah, find Tiffany Cole. Where can they find you at? Sorry. They can find me on Instagram at a bunny's insta tail. Um, they can find me on Twitter at a bunny's tail. Put, put a bunny into any social app, and I pinky promise you'll see this redheaded girl pop right up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you will. Thank you guys again, and we will see you all next week. Peace. Yes, sir.